you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do? You going to get me with some Slim Shady lyrics? <laughs> oh, boy, you think you're real funny, don't you? Boy, oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you today. What's up, everybody? It's a beautiful night here in Ravenel, South Carolina. We are at the Auto Buy Center. It's December, the beginning of the month. Christmas time's already kind of getting up in my blood, man. I'm ready to have a good Christmas season. But before we do, we're going to be taking a look at the 2005 Volkswagen Passat. This vehicle now is about 13 years old. When January comes, it'll be almost 14 years old. We're going to walk around this car, check it out tonight. Let me show you why it's a great car to pick for a cash price of $24.50. Here we go. So back in 2005, Volkswagen was rocking and rolling, weren't they? They sure were. And they're still rocking and rolling even today in 2018, 2019 with the new Volkswagen Jetta for 2019, you know? But Volkswagen hasn't really changed the body style all that much in the last many years on the Passat. You know, in 2018, the Passat is still the same body style it was probably back in 2015 and 2012 and all that. This was the prior body style, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was a little bit fresher than this, but I'm thinking this 05 body style stayed for quite some time as well. Now, one thing, I like the car. I like this color on this car. It's a really pretty color. It's got the tan leather interior in it, but we're going to walk around the outside of it tonight. It is wet, okay? We've had some rain over the last few days, but we'll do the best we can to show it to you. Headlights are in good shape. You got those projectors in there with halogens. Um, the front body of the car is in good condition. It's not all beat up. It's not dented or dinged or anything like that. We do got a little, looks like a little bit of clear coat kind of chipping up right up in there, as you can see right here with some leaves. But other than that, the, the dark navy blue has got a really nice shine to it, and I'm liking that a whole lot. The price is looking good, too. I mean, at $24.50, not bad for an older Volkswagen Passat, right? Now, somebody that comments quite often on our channel, his name is D. Shepard, he made a comment about this car when I did a little walk around through the lot out here over the weekend. He said that this actually was probably one of the better Passat body styles and engines and everything back in the day on them. Now, I'm not really sure about all of that, but please let me know, guys. If you're watching and you got a little knowledge on Volkswagen Passats, please let me know. Is this 2005 body style one of the better built vehicles? I don't know, but I would love to know what y'all think. The alloy wheels look pretty good, though. They're pretty big in size, right? Tires, definitely plenty of tread. And uh, what size do we have here? That's what we're trying to see. I think they're 18s actually 17s so a good size rim on there and a good looking rim you know not a bad looking wheel there on this car 17s you know that was a big wheel back in 2005 you know cars now are coming with 18s 19s and 20s and uh you know so a 17 was a big rim back in that year i don't know about y'all but i can remember back in 05 having a sports car and being like oh man i got a pair of 17s i got a pair of 18s on my vehicle so anyways the whole body of this car is in great shape i mean there's no major dent stings or any of that on it okay it's got the v6 as you can see right there um there is some scratches right back here Let's go ahead and pop the trunk, see what we got going on. Wow, what a really deep trunk on the Passat. I mean, that's massive. Back seats fold down, 40-60 split. Let's see if the old spare tire is still in here, right? Well, sure it is. Look at that. Wow. So this is checking out pretty good so far. There we go. Got that back down. Let's keep looking around a little bit. Now, back in 05, boy, they put some massive size antennas on here. Look at that thing, boy. Just a jiggle, wiggle, jiggle, wiggle. Okay. Got a sunroof up top. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of this car. Now, one thing I was noticing, I was just in this car a minute ago to pull it up here, and I'm noticing that the uh, the, the material, the, the leatherette right there, or vinyl, is actually coming up off of this. Now, that is a simple fix, I would think. You could get some 3M, 3M sticky spray stuff, put it in there, and just kind of boom, 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 right back into there. Um, the windows are working, as you can see. There you go. You got the one touch settings on all four windows, which is actually really interesting. There we go. Look at that. One touch for the windows. You got power seats here, memory seats, and this is leather interior. I don't think that's leatherette. It feels like leather. It definitely has a pretty decent size rip in the seat right there. But um, one thing I was noticing is the power seat 
is not working. And uh, oddly enough, you know, I've been in thousands upon thousands of used cars, and I've never been inside a used car with a power seat that doesn't work at all. So you're fixed in that position right now. I don't know what the deal is, but it's not working. See, and that's what Chad does. I'm being up front with you, letting you know. Here's the back of the car right there. There's the back seats. It'd definitely be a better review during the daytime, but it is nice to see cars at nighttime because just a lot of people don't review vehicles at night, and uh, it's nice to see a car at night, you know? Look at that. There's the old cup holders right there. Doesn't even flip or move. Well, hold on. Holy macaronis. What in the world is going on here? But definitely, it is nice to see vehicles at nighttime again, because then you can see what the headlights look like, the taillights, the blinkers, and all that. Solid, boy. You see how that door shows? Boom. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look in here a little more in-depthly. i got to get these lights on on the inside, though, because it's pretty dark. There we go. There's your seats. Now we got something. Sunroof. Your steering wheel. Dash is in great shape. It's not all cracked up or anything like that. Um, there's your automatic transmission with the wood trim on the inside. Very luxurious, you know, Volkswagen was doing a good job on this. Let's uh, look at a few more things. Because I'm starting to notice there may be a few little hiccups with the car. Um, you do you got your tilt and telescope and steering wheel. Well, the horn works, but that doesn't want to go all the way in. Let's see if we can get this lit up. At nighttime here, it should be lit up. Let's go ahead and cut our... Whoa, look at that. Wow. All the blue gauges in here, they light up pretty neat. Let's cut our fans on. Hold on a minute. We got somebody parked behind us, beeping the horn at me at the car lot tonight. Let's go ahead and... Well, I can't see out of here, unfortunately. Now, why would someone beep the horn at me? Anyways, we can't see out the windows right now. Let's get the air on. Get it up on the window. I cannot see out the car and they're honking the horns at me. So, we got to get some air conditioner up in this, this thing. Hold on a minute. We cannot see at all. And we got somebody honking at us. You honk at me one more time, I'm going to get out and knock you upside the damn head in a second. Hold on. I'm trying to be careful. We got a lot of cars on the lot right now, and these windows are all fogged up. <laughs> He's getting angry back there in his big old Ford truck. Anyways, let's see what we can do here. Probably should be parked over here anyways because not as much traffic. All right. So we got an AC problem, obviously, right? Or either I got a problem with hitting buttons inside the car. I just hit that one there. Do definitely got a check engine light on. It's very humid outside tonight. And uh, there's the mileage, 161,000 miles on this vehicle. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but booyah! And if that truck is following me around out here, I'm going to get out in a minute and say something to the fella. But anyways, let's hit that button. Okay. That button there does the... Uh, let's see if we can get that. Okay, the windows are unfogging a little bit. AC is not working though, so let's, uh, well obviously not, right, because the temperature is all the way up, and the buttons are broken off right here, so I cannot necessarily do the actual buttons. Oh my lord, it's one thing after another. You know, unfortunately, that's just how used cars go sometimes, folks, is you can't always, uh, you can't always get everything working properly. Speakers don't sound too good though. You got more highs than you got bass. Mon I'm not gonna leave it on, but it's a monsoon stereo in here. All right, everybody, we trying to review the car, um, but the problem we got right now is basically what we're dealing with here is the windows are so fogged up in here 
I can't even see hardly the damn part of the vehicle on the parking lot. Good lord. Let's get out and take a look and see if we're even in a manageable parking spot. Alright, I think we're good right there. So, I mean, other than the air conditioner not working in it, not a bad car. I mean, the, the fog lights are working, the headlights look good. It's a pretty low car. And uh, not bad for $24.50. Let me know what you would offer on it and if you'd like to come down here and purchase it from us. we got a lot more vehicles to sell too, folks. we got over 75 cars on the lot right here in the beginning of December. So we're ready to make some moves. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh.